first. My name is Kathy Hollander, and I vacation in St. Louis County. I love the swaying birch and the white pine trees of northern Minnesota and how clean the air smells. Many people have spoken about our love for the environment tonight. I have drunk the water from the lake that I have a cabin on. I've used it to wash dishes. I've washed my child with it, as well as swim swimming in it. I've seen the lake swell to an all-time high level during the last, what was it, 100-year one, flood in Duluth, and also dwindled down to very low levels during the drought that we had last summer. I am concerned about water and land use. At the legislature last year, I heard about some of the wells north of Duluth are drying up. Who would have guessed? This is drinking water. I would like to know how much fresh water, both ground and underground, this project is scheduled to use. I am not aware of anywhere in the SDIS where the amount is specified. With climate change coming, with, there will be areas of drought and areas of heavier than normal <coughs> rainfall that quickly runs off. In a drought year, will there be enough water for people and animals to use for drinking water? Will the stream still flow? Will the stream-fed lakes dry up? Will the mining company be able to take all the water they want, even in a drought year? I'm reminded of the Athabasca River in northern Canada, where the river runs dry when the mining company takes as much water as they need. Also, I'm concerned about the land exchange. By law, an appraisal must be done on the land being given up in the Superior National Forest and on the new land that will be exchanged to make sure that the new land is worth at least 75% of the value of the land being given up. We, the people of Minnesota, own that land now, although it belonged to the Native people before the European settlers. The Native people retain their rights to hunting, fishing, and gathering on this land, and now even that will be taken from them. What kind of people are we that we do this to the native people of our lands? The Forest Service should disclose to the public all land appraisal information now and extend the comment period so we taxpayers can comment on this land exchange issue. On the current land, the state owns the surface mineral rights. The new lands have split mineral rights. There are no covenants to prevent mining. The Polymet must find lands where the public owns the mineral rights, no split mineral leases to sell off. It is horrifying that we have to fight our own government to save the environment, said Ansel Adams. <laughs> we have to the National Forest and the Polymet Project. It's not the public interest. Thank you. your comments either later by March 3rd.